A wealthy California family gunned down in their beds. Their young son shot and wounded. 48 Hours has been reporting on this case for two years. Yesterday, it reached a stunning conclusion. Tonight, Aaron Moriarty has the update. It was a crime that rocked this upscale beach community. A husband and wife killed in their beds. Andra and Brad Sachs. In addition to the parents, the family's eight-year-old son was critically wounded, paralyzed for life. His two sisters were unharmed. It appeared that the motive for this crime might have been revenge for a business transaction. But after three weeks of investigation, detectives suspected that the killer was none other than the couple's 19-year-old son, Ashton Sachs, who was going to school 1,600 miles away in Seattle. They found his car with the rifle used to kill his parents. We went up, knocked at the door. They weren't expecting us. We knew he was lying, and he knew we knew he was lying. Ashton was brought back to police headquarters. Almost immediately, he began to confess. He said he planned to kill his parents and then kill himself. He was arrested and charged with the murders. Shoot them and then kill myself. Last month, more than two years after the shootings, Ashton finally pleaded guilty. Yesterday, he was sentenced. The defendant's a sociopath. He has no remorse. He has no empathy. All he cares about is himself. Ashton was sentenced to four life sentences without the possibility of parole. Aaron Moriarty, CBS News. That story kicks off a 48 hours double feature beginning tonight at 9 right here on CBS.